boys and girls, aunties and uncles, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is CK. My channel is Psychology, where I bring my viewers around the world to eat, see, and explore. Today, I'm standing right outside. This complex is the Yawara Chinese Cultural Center, temple here, also a museum here, and also a Chinese school here. And Today, they're having a sports marching parade. Today, the assimilation of the Chinese migrating to Thailand can be traced all the way to the King Rama III era. And most people would think that Singapore or Malaysia would have the largest overseas Chinese population. That title actually belongs to Thailand. Thailand's Chinese population is about 12 million strong and it encompasses almost 13, 14% of the entire population, the Chinese are the most influential community while still serving and holding tight to their Chinese heritage. The notable people included TV hosts, celebrities, winner of beauty pageants, Olympian spiritual leader, the current Archbishop of Bangkok, current president of the Bank of Bangkok. They are all Thai Chinese and proud Thais themselves. In the 1950s, Yawara was transformed by the Thai Chinese community into the center of business and entertainment. It's the largest Chinatown in the world by size and population. And it is always my favorite place to eat. I've never missed a chance of coming to Chinatown. This video, I'm going to bring you to all my favorite eatery spots here in Yawara Chinatown. Get ready, fasten your seatbelt, get your chopstick ready. Let's eat. father used to say a great morning starts with a great bowl of porridge and the older I get the more true I found what he was trying to say being a Teochew an expert in porridge I wanted to bring you to my favorite porridge place J Moikia they have been here for more than 50 years now J Moikia is also the name of the founder who started selling porridge 50 years ago and about 10 years ago they moved to this shop and I am a regular customer. The great thing about this porridge place is they open at 4.30 in the morning so very popular the young crowds that used to go clubbing at 4.30 they can have their favorite porridge. How wonderful is that? You put it with fried fritter. It's absolutely amazing. What I love is the century eggs and the fried fritter mixed together. It's absolutely amazing. Mm. Mm. And what is so great about this porridge is the texture and the pork is really, really very, very juicy. Mm. They make everything, the porridge, the century egg, the pork, everything made by them from scratch. And that's why I think a lot of regulars keep coming back. And a lot of locals also told me that they grew up having this porridge as well. So quite a very old brand here in Yawarat, 50 years in the business. Mm. Mm. Oh, I'm one of my favorite yu tiao. The texture is just so, so super thick with Thai rice, my God. How can you ever beat that? Mm. If you're ever hunting for a good porridge and you wake up early in the morning, J Moi Kian is a shop for you. They're signature green um, and not so far from the Yawarat um, Chinese Cultural Center. Mm. Mm. I know I'm gonna have a great start of the day, that's for sure.
the great thing about Yawarat is there's always new places to discover here in Yawarat Chinatown. This place. Ow, ow, ow. No, I'm not gonna sing, but this is a special place that my friend recommended me to come. And this is Yam Doremon. Yam Doremon, they open about 9.30 and they make very authentic Thai food. As you can see, they make the food with charcoal. Everything here is less than a hundred baht. 60, 50, 80, but it's all Thai, so you, you have to point out things that you want to eat. Say, this is the first Doraemon themed restaurant that I like ever. This is, I guess, the marketing stuff that they do here. I've ordered simple Thai instant noodle. Very, very simple Thai noodle. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I tell you, the spiciness is through the roof. Mmm, mmm. Oh, oh. This is a taste that I really like, and it's sometimes all you need for your lunch. Mmm, mmm. You just love the sourness of it all. Sour and spicy. The taste of Thailand. I can see it from far away. The amazing fried chicken that Boss is doing. It's absolutely amazing. This is what uh, my local friends told me to order. Which is their fried chicken taste of it. I don't, it's like, I guess a secret recipe they do. Mmm. Mm. Dip it with the sauce. Mm. The boss frying it. And I heard they have like a special ingredient of flour. Frying it with pandan leaves. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, 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 bro, oh. wow, it's still very hot. It's super spicy and mmm, 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 crunchy, spicy. I can't describe it. It's just something that I've never tasted before. This is that special ingredient. Mmm, mmm. Wow, this white chicken is out of this world. It's not easy to find. It's like in the back street and it's along a canal. I'll try to put a location. They open at 9.30. I'm here now at about 9.45. Again, for Doraemon fans, and maybe you can bring your kids here. It's very cute. It's a very, very cute, very authentic small shop, authentic Thai food. Shooting in the busy street of Yawarat I am because of this stall. This is Patong Go Subway and finally I am back because this, this is my favorite snack of all here in Thailand. Looks like this lovely glutinous, oh my god, it is so, so very hot. And you eat it with the pandan custard, look at that. My god. Busy, busy day off. Twice Michelin star. And look at this incredible pandan custard. Oh. oh my god. My co worker introduced it to me and I have been addicted since. Super high calorie this is, but seriously, who's counting? The Yawarat version of the Yu Tiao. Mm. Oh my god. This is absolutely to die for. It's lunchtime now. I am going after the perfect roasted pork rice here in Chinatown. It is really the recipe that all of us Chinese swear by. And I've been coming to this shop for a very long time. I don't even know the name and I finally know the name 
of this my favorite pork rice shop. This is Khao Mu Deng Si Morakot. They are preparing for the takeaways. You can see all the Grab drivers are driving through here to pick up their order by the bulk. I think some village just ordered for the whole village. It's insane inside. All the orders that is going out of the order they get here. It's insane. And look at this. I think the whole company is ordering. And that is the sauce that I'm aftering. Their gravy sauce. Legendary. incredible menu. I used to come here with my friends and we used to eat everything in this restaurant. The restaurant is 80 years old, third generation, so many years I've come back and I have never missed a chance. If I ever had the chance to visit Bangkok, this would be the place I had my pork rice for the Mmm, it's making a lot of sound as I bite. The shop is buzzing with activity. It has gone viral recently as I would fly here for two and a half hours just to have this pork rice. It's absolutely incredible. Mm. It's just like really the perfect pork egg rice taste. The perfect Trinity combination. It's absolutely incredible. I could eat this every day, kid you not. Mm. So in this next segment, I'm gonna walk through the Yawarat street market. They are all over Yawarat's area. They span across from street to street, from one side to the other. And I wanted to go into this one because this one is sheltered. So I'm gonna walk through the street with you and show you all the wonderful, wonderful things they have here. So, so many activities here. Hi, Sarika. All these so nice for soups and dessert. Look at all those herbs. Look at all these cakes and dessert. Oh, they are all so, so yummy. Beans, jelly, dry fruits, plum, goji berry, the tang. Wow, look at inside they even show you the inside of the glutinous rice now today it's very very good marketing yeah. the shop really has everything look at the Chinese New Year and this is for the altar Wow, this fancy fancy temple candles they have extraordinary paper money I think they sell for funerals and an altar. Wow, look at this huge boat pieces. These are so huge boat pieces offerings. It's incredible. Tofu. Oh, see, cucumbers. Yawara Street Market. It, it really is never ending. It goes all the way across the street. Look at this mini, mini gluten rice. Wow. Dragon Tail Temple which is really good because now it's the year of the dragon and these temple offerings are everywhere and they serve as like an altar for their ancestors and also a center, epic center for festivals when they have like, I think the next one, the next big, big one is of course Chinese New Year. And I must say, very nice upkeep. Shall I say better than what we had in Malaysia? And look at how glorious it is. Look, they have black coffee, milk coffee, lohan guo, yeah, and ma tea, water chestnuts. It's incredible selection to quench your thirst in the Bangkok heat. And these are the prices. 
I'm so so tempted. I'm gonna buy one later, but this is how they keep them. Huh? The Thai tea. The Thai tea. The Thai tea. Uh, on the top with jelly. On the top with, with jelly. With jelly. Yeah. Okay. This one is the only jelly. Original. Oh, this one is only jelly. Yeah. Glass jelly. Yeah. Glass jelly. Okay. Jelly. Well, I'll come back later. Yeah. I'll look at all these incredible yeah. drinks. Yeah. Oh, this is Thai tea. Thai tea. So it's a palm. It's a palm drink. And this one. Long time. So dry fruits, these are goji berry for 200 baht. Now how bargain is that? 200 baht for that goji berry. And uh, you can see all these traditional shops that's still running to these days. I'm sure long history they have um, in this Yawarat uh, market. So many things to see here. Mushroom, all types of mushroom, dried mushroom. These are all the dried uh, stuff Taoki and all these colorful it is, it isn't this is the most colorful things you've ever seen I want this as my um, screensaver in my laptop uh, Jade and jewelry which Chinatown is so so famous for is Guansu another old brand with uh, herbs they sell since 1953, 1954, sorry. And Yongrun Gwen with um, all the tippets, all the Thai snack tippets. Oh, so tempted. These bells, trinket that you can hang that uh, bring auspicious luck to your home. Wow, look at those hanging goods. Dragon is going to be a very big um, selling this year because the year of the dragon is coming and all this colorful colorful stuff for chinese new year and my favorite uh tao sa pian. these are the mini tao sa pian that they have <gasps> wow look how nice they look oh i am so hungry but just looking at them look at all these fancy chopsticks quality chopstick this has got to be the most jam-packed shop I have ever seen. Look at the way they um, arrange them. This is Tang Tek Hing and they just packed the whole wall from top to bottom. Oh, look at all the red packets. Oh, I might just get one. Year of the Dragon. Oh, super colorful. Look at that. Has a Persian look to it. I'm going to have my early dinner at my favorite fishball noodle soup stall. This is Lim Gao Ngo. Lim Lao Ngo, this is. It's a Chinese name. Lin Jiu Wu and I think in, it's in Hokkien so Lim Gao Hong is the noodle shop they've been here for 80 years Michelin star for many many years and this is their famous noodle soup very simple it is with or without soup and with Poin Poin their famous fish ball look at that mm. Wow. I love, love the fish ball. With soup is very good because they have like a secret recipe to their broth. Mm. Which is absolutely amazing. I love their kuei tiao because for some reason it's like super smooth and the texture is just amazing. Mm. Mm. 80 years in the business many years of Michelin star. Highly, highly recommend, of course.
So ladies and gentlemen, for my finale, I had to wait until 9.30. Usually I eat dinner like 6, 7, but I have to wait until 9.30 to eat my dinner because this is my finale. And I want to show you my favorite seafood restaurant in all of Bangkok. Every time I go back to Malaysia and Singapore, I always, always tell people to please, please come to Som Som. It's my favorite seafood restaurant here in Bangkok. Everything here, believe me you, everything here is delicious. And they have the fanciest um, building signboard you can ever imagine. It's like a rainbow color, it changes all the time. Very mesmerizing. And the chef is actually cooking facing the street of Yawarat. And it's really tempting everybody that passed by because every dish is not only delicious, but very, very Instagrammable. And it's 9.30, they're closing in half an hour, but people are still coming in. The must order here in Som Som is definitely the crab noodle. This is absolutely amazing. And the way the, the chef cooked it, I think a lot of garlic, a lot of their own oil fried recipe. What do I know? All I know is how to eat this. It's absolutely amazing. And can you even imagine how many eggs? Like this crab is absolutely filled, filled entirely with eggs. It's so amazing. It's gonna have the first taste. Oh, I miss coming to Som Som so much. I never missed. Usually also I ordered um, lots of prawns. The omelet egg is also very, very good. But tonight I only have appetite for glass noodle. Oh, there you go. The crab noodle of Som Som. Mm. Mm. It's when I die and go to heaven, this is the first meal I want to have. The Som Som glass noodle and crab meat. Oh my god, can you even... I cannot even describe to you how delicious this is. It's salty, it's fried, it's fragrant. Look at, look at how amazing it is. Mm. 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 And the other dish that I always order is of course, this is um, 350 baht because they ran out of the small one. So this is 350 baht and the whole thing is, I would say around 800, 900 baht. And they, the business is so good, they only accept cash now. So you have to come here with cash. Mm. 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 So there you go, boys and girls. That is my video episode for Yawarat. I've been coming here since high school. Can you imagine the long, long love affair and history I have with Yawara? Thai Chinese are really a proud community. They've contributed enormously to the social fabric, the economic of Thailand. Thailand is very much, will be very much different without the Thai Chinese community, I must say. That is my trip to Yawarat. I tell you, I barely scratched the surface. I think YouTuber can have an entire career by just covering the food of Yawara. You must eat in Yawara. That is all I can advise and tell you when you want to come and eat in Bangkok. So that's my video, boys and girls. I hope you enjoy me taking you to all favorite, top few favorite places here in Bangkok. Don't forget to like, subscribe my video. And here are more videos, here are more videos of my trip here in Thailand, which is Chiang Mai and Phuket, which I went recently. And I am going to finish this feast this tonight by myself and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye from Yawarat here in Bangkok, Som Som Seafood. Bye. Oh my God, I am so hungry.